Welcome to Seoul. Day three, traveling Korea as a student who should definitely be in class. And after a quick lunch, I headed to Gyeongbokgung Palace to check out some pre-modern Korean history. Unfortunately for Korea, they've constantly been getting shit destroyed for the past millennia, and this palace was no different. Still, it was a really peaceful place to reset after the craziness of downtown Seoul. So I'm discovering that Seoul has like multiple downtowns, but today I am heading to one of the largest night markets they have here. So really excited for that. Pretty cool. Definitely gives me like NYC vibes at least around here by the big palace we got the first one and you know I gotta start with the dessert this looked too good Nutella strawberry souffle pancake after some killer grub and a fire cocktail I caught the last bus to check out Seoul Tower and get some panoramic views of the city had to sprint but made it just in time for the observation day let's go on the bottom frame there is the palace I went to today you can't really see behind me that well but Seoul is huge it feels bigger than Tokyo when I'm up here looking down on it. Seoul gives much more Manhattan vibes. Tokyo is a lot more like spread out. This is like so dense. It's just unbelievable. 